Pero no se ría. We should make like a theme song, bro. Pero no se ría. <laughs> Alright guys, no welcome to No Se Ria Podcast. It is your boy, your guest, Lee Ray, aka Lee Reezy, aka that's it. And today we got <laughs> who we got joining us today? Drew. AKA <laughs> <laughs> Undress. <laughs> Undress. <laughs> but yeah, we'll be here just filling in some seats. Yeah. Okay. Oh Alright, so yeah, kick it hey, off. Yeah, thanks for having us. Yeah. For having me. And me. No. I mean, I, I was on the first opposite. Uh, episode. You already had Lee Ray. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was on the first episode, but I live like literally I live an hour away, so it's just hard to come sometimes. Uh, I started a new job ever since the first episode. So yeah, second week of a new you, job. You want to tell us about it? Shit. Bring I mean, it on, there's bro. not much to say. It's I mean, it's really. Huh? We're pretty much celebrating here. Yeah, I mean, doing the podcast. Yeah, I mean, I've, it's barely been my second week there. Finishing up the second week, going into July Fourth weekend. Mm-hmm. I've been doing nothing but trainings and getting to know the people there. But dude, it's a, it's an entirely different vibe. Are you yeah. the youngest one? The, yeah, by ten years. We confirmed that today. Jeez. For real? So the guy before Jeez. me there was thirty-seven, and he was the youngest. Jeez. And yeah. I was like, well, damn, dude, I'm twenty. Well, he interviewed me, and he was yeah. like, now you're twenty-seven, but you remember my age. You're twenty-seven. Yeah, twenty-seven. Well, I'm 27 Jeez. in five days. Man, you're a baby. Your birthday's coming out? Jeez. No, seven. July 7th. That's That's cool, bro. You're, gonna, you're going to be 27. Dude, it's all right. So check it out. This is like, I was telling my wife today, like the difference in vibes. And it's not a flex or nothing. Because I'm literally like a guppy there, dude. I'm like the little baby shark. The baby shark. Yeah. The vibes are just completely different. The environment is completely different. I mean, I'm working in a 50 story, 50 story building. You know, it's a well-known company. Yeah. Do you see... All 50 of those stories are from that company? There was actually... That's one building out of the four full buildings. Damn. Yeah. Do people dress up or anything? Dude. Like suits and shit? Dude. It blows my... So you'll see... When we're... I'm, I'm outside waiting for my wife, right? And I'm outside waiting in the parking garage. The parking garage because she picks me up. Uh-huh. And uh, dude, Bentley's driving out. Porsche is driving out. And the crazy thing... I mean, I'm all for equal, equality. Puras mujeres, bro. What does mujeres in these high end cars? And I'm like, damn, bro, like it's crazy. Going to the going to my office, you see like the girls dressed up, dude, in like full like women's suits or nice yeah. dresses, red bottoms or God knows what else, right? Oh, like balled out. But this is what I was telling my wife today. So I come from a company or a job where you know it's a it's a job where you, you gotta just it's a good place to start and you learn a lot. But it's a beginning what, bro? <laughs> Let me well, take, bro. <laughs> but dude, it's all right. So like this place, you know, it's like where people, you know, they win the. All right. <laughs> yeah, can I get the dog? <laughs> no, it's because, dude, I almost dropped my whole drink, bro. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Okay. So like, you know, it's I, I come from a, a job where. <laughs> God damn it, Lalo. <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. I swear to God, I'm good. Because uh, I was just talking to my girl about it today. Like the different environment where I'm the guppy now versus where I was at. I, you know, I had a, I was decent there. And now I'm the guppy yeah. in a much larger playing field. For example, one of my coworkers is married to a doctor. The other coworkers, his wife is an immigration lawyer. So all these guys are set, dude. Yeah. Before leaving today, I'm, I asked the guy, hey, how's your, you know, what do you got planned for July 4th? Oh, we're heading down to South Padre Island. I was like, oh, that's nice. Like, you know, vacation. It's like, no, we got family down there and, um, we're actually shopping for a house. Yeah. I was like, oh, dang, in South Padre Island. He was like, yeah, we're looking to buy a beach house for our vacation home. I was like, dude, where I come from, nobody's talking about, nobody can afford to go to vacation, much less go buy a vacation home. Yeah. And he was like, and if not that, my wife is trying to get her dual citizenship that way we can buy a house in Cancun. Yeah. In the back of my head, I was like, nah, he's BSing, bro. Like, but, but no, bro, these people just kind of, they can afford stuff like that. Yeah. And, you know, I don't, or we, we're raised in, the way we're raised or the way we're brought up, we're not thinking about like buying a vacation home in Cancun. Yeah. You know, we're over here maybe thinking of getting a good deal in a hot- on a hotel or something. <laughs> <laughs> but do you, you know, feel like, know do you it. feel like switching to a, to a new job sparked oh, this like completely. interest in like being something better? Oh, for sure. Bro, you know how maybe I think in the first podcast or after or before I was saying I would never go back to school. Yeah. It's like, dude, I have to go back to school. Yeah. So, so dude, behind me and next to me are software engineers. 
So basically, we work with uh, the the balas, you know, the guys yeah. that that perform the, these. They, it's a data data architect behind me, uh, well diagonally behind me, and then uh, behind me, software engineer next to me, software engineer, and it's like, dude, I don't even have a degree, bro. Yeah. Hey, me, we were about to go by the school if you want to go with us. Yeah. <laughs> like, no, no, no. Be like, hey, it's just, like, it's just for the podcast. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah, going back to fuck school. <laughs> Not to like take over or anything. Yeah. But since I started at where I'm at now, you know, leading energy company. Yeah. Not once have they asked me for my degree. Really? Not yeah. once. Wow. Now it's probably because it's not required by state. Like an engineer, you know, it's required by, by law. Were you talking so, about in this new job? Yeah. Not yeah. once have I been asked. The old job, did they actually ask for it? No. No. They never. Man. My interview never asked for it. Like, I think, I think I'm going to just say this. Like, I hate the fact that whenever you go into a group, you know, specifically a certain group where, you know, you have to have a degree. Yeah. Like, having a degree in what school you went to, like, it's like everything to them, bro. Oh, absolutely. And it sucks, bro. Like, it's just a fucking paper, bro. No, it is. You but know? it's also going to get you places, too, though. That's what yeah, I'm saying. But it, it sucks. Gonna, it sucks I don't yeah. know. Because, like, for instance, the the people that are, that really care about like the degrees and stuff, um, <laughs> like they it's they're a dying, it's a dying breed. It, it's yeah, yeah, it's only a certain group of people. But once you're in the meeting with them, yeah, like we know our stuff, you know your stuff, and they ain't even gonna say anything. Yeah, because think about it, like the people in the field, bro. Like, if you went to school or did whatever you need to do, like to them, that's shit. That's nothing. Yeah. Like, they need people that know their shit, experience, yeah. and everything. At exactly. the end of the day, they just care about what gets done, what they're able to report to their higher-ups, and if they're able to justify the budget they ask for. Yeah, but, but when, when you go to school... <laughs> 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 hey, bro, this is a boring subject. Hey, we need to switch it yeah, up. Yeah, bro, bro. Should we just switch it up? Yeah, okay. they don't even teach you... They don't even teach you what you're going to learn at work. So why <laughs> even go to school? Who cares, right? We're going to have to train you all over again anyway. Yeah, it sucks. <laughs> Another thing with, uh, with work, like now where I'm at now. All right. Dude, like I feel like my life has changed in the last three weeks to now. <laughs> so it's just like if you feel frustrated where you're currently at. Yeah. Just like put it in God's hands, bro. And, you know, work hard every single day. And those blessings eventually come. But. Yeah, yeah, moving on. Anyways, hey, I don't know. hey, if you see me pulling up in a Rari, mind your business. Don't ask me for a job. It's a rental. Anyways, <laughs> has anything interesting in your life happened that you want to share? Anyone that, that you share? weren't sure? That y'all want to share? Like, oh, interesting, you want embarrassing, to share. or what? Anything, 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 anything off, I, I off, think off. everybody should go one by one. The most interesting, interesting. thing that has ever happened. Hey, you gonna put us on the spot like that? Yeah. Bro, I'll tell you. Uh, like that, like it, that's two. That's yeah. I have one well, story. Well, this is a star. Then you, you have too broad. Yeah. So about. mine's nothing interesting, bro. But I had this story that's like scarred into my brain, and it's nothing horrendous or nothing, bro. But I was in El Rancho in Mexico, and I'm on a four wheeler, bro. And mind you, bro, I'm like 14 or so, and my dad, they we bought a four wheeler for the for the ranch, and at the time it was like the high end four wheeler. It was like a 800 yeah. or something like that. Now they have the 1000s or whatever. But, oh, dude, it was me and my cousin behind me, you know, crotch on my back. Yeah. You know, we're young. <laughs> dude, we're going like 50 miles an hour. And yeah, out of nowhere, the lo juro, bro, there was a freaking trench. Like, in Mexico, they're not going to, estamos en el rancho, they're not going to have a caution sign, beware, yeah. trench yeah, pulling yeah. Up, coming up. Bro, 50 miles an hour. <laughs> Boom, dude, dead stop. My All my hands get busted up right here. My cousin's Is like, busted his score? lip. No, no, nah, this oh, is something okay. else. <laughs> <laughs> the, my cousin busted his lip like on my back. And the four wheeler, bro, it stabbed so hard into the trench. So it was like a trench, like, like four feet deep and like two feet. I see that wide. Yeah. So my four wheeler just slammed and crashed into it. Yeah. Dude, we couldn't pull it out. Damn, mm -hmm. it could have been bad. Dude, bro. so we had bad. to walk like five miles <laughs> in the middle of summer in the desert, bro. Oh, yeah. Wow. And the entire time... This is how stupid we were, though. The entire time we're like thirsty or like our everything's super hot. And five miles, bro. I mean, to me, bro, it's a lot. I've been yeah. this size since I was like 12. <laughs> <laughs> so, Damn, dude. That's, that's badass. So we crashed. <laughs> bro, and the craziest thing, dude, right next to us is un camino. And next to the camino, there's a sequia. And I don't know if you know what a sequia is. Uh, no. a, se a sequia is basically like a ditch, like a man made ditch that comes off oh, of the river. Big. 
<laughs> to feed like the, the trees and stuff and uh, the, the farms. Yeah. And we didn't get in the hell. Why didn't we just float down the hell like a river? <laughs> and I think it's just that at the time I was like scared of fish and like, oh, I don't want nah, to No, yeah. Me. You're young, bro. You don't even think, bro. You know how to You're so dumb at that age. But I had a hat, bro, and I would just dip it in the water and put it all over me because we were yeah. dying, bro. Like it was so hot. And I was too gross out to drink it. Oh, so it was desert, desert. No, yeah, bro, in Rancho, in Chihuahua. I swear. In so Chihuahua, what, is, when you got back to the Chihuahua, is when you got back to civilization, what did you do? Did you go straight to chugging some water or some shit? The, yeah, bro, we got to the tiendita. We didn't even have money, bro, because yeah. we weren't expecting a crash. We were just cruising. And what if, unas aguas. what if five miles was literally like just across the street, but y'all went like the whole way around? <laughs> yeah, nah. <laughs> nah, bro, so we were in the four wheeler, so we were like in trails, like exploring. Ah, uh, yeah. Mm. That's yeah. why that trench was there. Like we didn't know, bro. We they try to get it back. Yeah. So eventually we pulled up to my one of my buddy's house. Yeah. And un pueblito ahí, and he went to and towed us out, and then we drove back home. Damn, that's crazy. Yeah. All dehydrated. But that's, that's just a- like one of the stories that's like always in the back of my mind. Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. I have one too. Wait, hold on, bro. No, 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 no. Let him go. Whoever goes, yeah. I I don't don't have one. Yeah. Yeah, I just got one. Before he forgets. Before he forgets, go. Now I was just going to bring up mine whenever I was like, I don't know. I think I was probably like 10. I was in fifth grade. Whenever I was in fifth grade, during that summer, whenever I was going to go to sixth grade, we went to a kind of like a, I don't think it was a field trip, but my mom took us somewhere. It seemed like it was a field trip, but all of us were there and we took a trip to this place <laughs> this place where they they um it's all about um nuts right am i tripping or is it about nuts? Nuts? no yeah why not is it oh, the, one? I was yeah. saying nuts. the one where they make paper and shit it's okay okay so so it was it was no a idea. field trip where they'll show you how to like recycle and and all about nature and shit like that you, you they're had a pretty bad ad look yeah they had little little things where you can do paper and shit like that out of scratch like you know they teach you how to do it well also in the back of that location there's a there's a, a trail like a forest too there's a big ass trail a big ass trail like, right? the whole yeah. forest i remember there like as soon as you go into this trail there's like a little just a pathway uh of where you can walk and then next to it is just water everywhere and then mm. you get to a point where it's like okay it opens up to the trail and you get to walk everywhere <laughs> and um there's this uh moment where i remember seeing everybody go inside and I stayed behind and I was like, fuck, okay. You know, I'll just, I'll just catch up to them. So I go by myself and I, I'm going by myself like a little kid, bro. Like I'm in fifth grade. Yeah. So I'm going in. Well, like in fifth grade, what are you like? You're probably 10, like 10, 10, 10, I think. 10, you're 10, yeah. Uh, uh, yes. 10, 11. I like think 10. you're 10. 13. 10. I was a little, I was a little kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So <laughs> I remember I go by myself, I'm looking everywhere. And then out of nowhere, bro, it starts raining. But what? out of nowhere it starts raining oh, like damn. like like i'm talking about like storming bro like raining bad and i'm like what the fuck okay instead of going back like an idiot i keep going in just to see if i can look for them and i can find them and i i remember i remember that i i went into like where it seemed like there was nothing like nowhere to you know walk or anything yeah i was fucking crawling through trees and shit like that damn. trying to find my way bro dirty and then, and then on top of that, bro, I had barely gotten as a Christmas gift my fat farms. Y'all remember those? Oh, ah. no. <laughs> bro, those shoes were $60 and they were so obtainable, bro. Bro, I had white. The white the silver one. one. <laughs> was the the silver? Okay. Yeah, yeah, I had the I white silver those. ones, bro. Hey, with, the, yeah. with the P facing forward backwards. No, the, 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 the real ones. Hey, <laughs> uh, little side story. Remember, went to the pool guy, we got some beef farms. <laughs> 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 farms. Some what? Some, some beef farms. 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 Heat? <laughs> Nah, nah, they're okay. Right. Hey, but, but can you P Yeah, farms. Fat farms. P H. Can you believe that they were bootleg? A, like a, such a cheap shoe, bro. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Yes, yeah. because filas? everybody wanted yes. them. Bro, we had every color filas, right? Bro, did y'all have the filas with the camo soles? Though we had filas. Yeah, uh, <laughs> dude, those are. The, I always wanted those. I remember we had those brown ones. Remember? Bro, back brown. back in the day, whenever we were gonna start school, those were the shoes that we would get. Filas, yeah. Because filas. they were two for sixty. Bro, you know what I was? Same was Pumas. Pumas, like two for seventy. Reeboks. I was no, case the other ones, the other ones, uh, the yeah. polos. 
For yeah. polo boots. Oh, polo boots, yeah. Oh, the shit. I, I got another story about the polos, too, bro. Uh huh. Next time. Hold on, bro. I didn't finish. Oh, go ahead. Oh, yeah. so I remember um, I'm going through little, you know, trails and shit like that. I'm, I don't know where I'm going. I don't know why, but I picture you like crawling and you're like in a like a, a comf- like a real tight space. Like yes, like in a cave. that's how I, I swear to God. It's it felt like it, it felt like I was going in through where it, it was bro, just. Where's your mom at this point? Is she not looking for it? So, so we're like literally in the entrance. <laughs> yeah, take it over. Take it over. We're literally in the entrance just like waiting. Like, like we can't. They don't let us go because it's raining nasty yeah it starts raining did you yeah. start raining yeah, yeah, yeah it's bad it bad. starts raining so we're literally all like in the bank just waiting like looking at the trail like waiting for a to come we can't yeah. they don't let us go in there they don't let us so <laughs> so it turns out bro this whole fucking time there were signs everywhere <laughs> I'm telling you where to go yes oh and then God. i just i i guess i guess something hit me i'm like okay let me relax you know they're they're literally telling me where the way is out but I had already gone through a whole fucking little adventure, bro. No, Mind you, he didn't had to reach He was in tenth grade. He was, I was in. Damn. <laughs> I was ten <laughs> years old. For the audience that doesn't know Eduardo like the way we do, when he panics, yeah, he panics. Yeah, dude. And he starts sweating. I st- like, Call of Duty. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, that moment I really thought I was gonna die. Yeah, it's so funny. Like, I thought I was gonna die, bro. I was like, what the fuck? Uh, nobody's gonna find me. <laughs> Meanwhile, if I if I look back at you know at that moment. I'm pretty sure being at that age that we're in now, yeah. it was probably so small, bro. <laughs> but at the, as a kid, you're like, dude, I was going, I was going through crops and everything. Like they had a section where crops. I guess they were built, they were growing crops. So I went through there, looking everywhere. I couldn't find anyone going back. Jeepers, hey, the farmers went back the next day. It's like, damn, yeah. what happened? <laughs> 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 okay, Lotes, Miss Lotes. Eduardo was just eating the corn because he thought he was gonna die. Uh, yeah. What's well, funny is, is that. It was funny is that I can see the damn freeway. Like it was not big. It just seemed so big because oh, I was yeah. thinking. Man, it sounds like the the Super back of uh, Chavez High School. Nah, nah, yeah. nah. Trust me, bro. It was, you like, ever it was been an, back there? It was an actual yeah, forest. Should right? we go? You went to Chavez? It's literally, yeah. yeah. Literally yeah. like that. It's it a might trail. Been, it might have been, yeah. That turns into a. And it's like a big ass fucking. What is that? Like a bayou? Yes. Yeah. It is like a wood, uh, like a bridge. I never went back there. But I'm pretty sure it was similar. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so who nah. has the story? Hey, are we who still gonna story? tell the stories? Well, yeah, you go ahead. Oh. Yeah. If we don't like the stories, we'll just hey, cut bro. them off. Really. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> it's huh? not dangerous for us talking yes, to bro. cut. Like, yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. That whole Why hit me out of nowhere. Shot, you gotta bro. make it entertaining, bro. You gotta hey, do it for take the podcast. Shot, bro. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> me and him, we went over there and, and I was I just said, man, I don't feel shit. And I said, sat down, he's almost gonna I can tell you. You can see it in your face, bro. I'm gonna play well. <laughs> I mean, why well, is he looking at me and at Andrew at the same time? That's, that's fucked up, bro. How about these guys? That's how it is. He's like, imagine he's looking at Eduardo and at me at the same time. <laughs> 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 that's fucked up. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not a bully. I'm not a bully. Smear it up as Baca. That's right. It's Baca. Kick it back, Lala. good, right? Is it good? Is it good? It's pretty good. It's all there. Get some? No, I have some. You want to taste some? Get okay. some, bro. I get some sloppy little puss. I don't know about Ivan's though. Is his lips good? Hey, bro, I gotta go. Come on, real. Why? <laughs> <laughs> Why you put your lips like that, though? <laughs> yeah. I don't even know what I'm doing now, bro. <laughs> yeah, anyways. <laughs> All right, so who's taking over the story. interesting topic? Yeah, tell your story. Oh, interesting story. No, no, no Damn, I, I guess it's not interesting. I don't, I don't think it's interesting. I think it's just oh something that happened. Say it and we'll, 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 we'll yeah. say it. The, so, so. We're out in Spain, and um, flex. not a flex. <laughs> That's the <laughs> life flex. Uh, we're in a train, and we're in the middle, of, like a major city. It, it starts, we start starts going, and you start seeing all these people that live in little, little like sheds. And um, Google Maps isn't the greatest. Like it, it was just sketch. Nothing against este, Google. We'll take a sponsor anytime. Verdad. Este, so we come to a stop, and then it says take another train to the left. Yeah. So we come to a stop. We get off. We take it. And we literally go four stops down when we realize that we're in the wrong train. Aww. Damn. We we get off in the train stations, and the train station, I'm telling you, it's, it's sketchy areas. Yeah. It's empty. I, thank God it was in Spain, because you know Spanish. Even though it's different Spanish, but you, yeah, you, you, you were able to talk to the people in the in the station. The station yeah. is like, dude, 
it was sketchy station yeah, no. and and um because you went underneath the tunnel you get off you go under a tunnel and you've seen those <laughs> movies where it's like the the lights flickering and then it's all dark uh, it's yeah, kind of wet like it was like that oh, yeah. we go underneath the tunnel we go up and the station's there mm-hmm. yeah we talked to the lady and she's like yeah um like you, you took the wrong train basically yeah. no. and then uh you, j- you have to go back three three to four stations back and then from there take it again and you you're we're already out like an hour and a half of train ride oh, wow. Damn. and um well, but three stops was already an hour uh, not not three stops okay. but we were already out like an hour oh, okay. uh, from like just riding the train mm-hmm. but uh, like it was it was a nerve like you don't know the area Bro. you don't know people it's just it was nervous like it, i think it was the point of like i don't if i wouldn't have known spanish yeah. i would have freaked out Bro, like if the uber drops you off on the wrong street in downtown houston you're like where the hell am i yeah mm-hmm. you know imagine in another yeah. country. like uh huh? like the library have you ever been by the library in downtown i don't, think so. no, I don't really know how to read that well uh, <laughs> <laughs> So we were riding the bikes from oh, from. Uh, we fucked up. We were taking. Yeah. <laughs> bro, what if what if he just got violent, bro? He wanted to fight me from like all the BS that me and him had gone through. <laughs> <laughs> he just grabs his bike and throws it at me. Bro. Hey, yeah. Drew, the, you you went to Paris? Before? Paris, yes. Yeah, the same yeah. same time period did that you, we went. Did you ever think? In, uh, what, what are what's in Paris? Like, Eiffel Tower, bitch. No, like <laughs> who's in Paris? Who's in Paris? Oh. <laughs> this well, is trying to bait me. Usually, usually when you Kanye song. Usually, usually when you go on a <laughs> usually when you go like on a trip, like in Europe, you usually do like a whole Paris, yeah. Spain, oh, yeah, yeah well, Barcelona. Fly, right? Dude, it was thirty dollars to fly from Paris to from Spain to Paris. Yeah. To Amsterdam. Bro, it took it me thirty dollars to drive here. It, yes. <laughs> I'm not lying, bro. Damn. Dude, the, the flights are so ridiculously cheap that it, it's just crazy how expensive it is so here you'd be in the stupid States. Not to even go do it, right? For yeah. Price? Yeah. Yeah. You, might as well, you already spent two yeah. K to fly over there. There's trains that like go from city to city over there in Europe. Yeah. But and flying is so much easier. You're there in thirty minutes. It's like it, it was I, I i recommend it just go and just hit up as many spots yeah. as you can it, we only went to th- three different spots because you don't know it was our first time going yeah um what's your, what's your highlight of paris uh, paris or, or your, your, of euro trip Europe trip uh i think uh oh, let's not talk about the red light district I, uh, uh, amsterdam i think it is it's really cool that's, where, the red light light that's where the red light district is but how much did you spend at the red light district nothing but Stop but we did walk around he told me spent like a thousand bro, i would have lost a deed in my house Dude, hey not to interrupt your story but you know so red light district is where there's like prostitutes and stuff right yeah it's legal yeah and <laughs> i su- we support anybody i mean it's a living it's a it's a job so we it's okay we don't we nothing against nothing against them, yeah. uh, they gotta make their or, money somehow bro i heard somewhere fact check me but that the highest uh charging employee is una viejita bro yeah that's really? true why i don't know she has a show like there's shows you you think, like prostitute shows you think she has good head bro it's that no um, teeth that no teeth head maybe i, I don't know <laughs> just straight <laughs> gums <laughs> my uh so a picture of her. we we walked around we walked around because we want we just wanted to see what was uh, really like, viejita? no not the viejita. <laughs> hey. the red light district because there's literally red lights but like on you're it. saying you're saying like you went to that prostitute place not the but prostitute it's like going to sixth street bro it, but like in the windows right there's like yeah. red lights shining down on girls so imagine imagine there's glass doors mm-hmm. with curtains and every glass door yeah. is a room and the the girls are just like they're no, hanging no, out. Seen videos. yeah did your girl go with you though yeah she wanted yeah. to check it out and yeah. she's like she could not believe how beautiful the women were oh, that's doing right. it i hear that she's like she's she women. like in her like even if you see it you're like you cannot believe how beautiful these women are and they're doing this hey, i'm looking right now for a, <laughs> for a check hey, for a why do you hey, think they yeah. do that i mean is it <laughs> i'm gonna put myself under a red light is it is it is know. it like is it more money than only fans type shit like why wouldn't they do that instead bro you never know maybe they got the looks but they're just not i don't know bro not i mean all right y'all want to switch it up yeah because i have a, i have a topic that 
that I want to talk about. That it's like one of those topics that I think we all like to talk about. But like, what's one thing in life that you want? That you want, like at this moment, and you can't wait to have it. Or material anything, or you know, anything. Like you don't gotta give me the the cliche answer of like, oh, I, I want happiness or and to be skinny. <laughs> hey, bro. Hey, I got, I, you I, ain't I, no I, lie. I, there's a few things yeah. that I know. Tapeworms and besides uh, physical, I guess. nah. No, 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 no. Besides Anybody, physical, everybody, everybody like, wants to be fit. Like uh-huh. if, if you truly want to say, oh, I just want to be happy, like fine, that's your answer. But, I think you know, I think I want to I want to quit my job and do my own thing. I think that's. Elaborate. Yeah, elaborate. Like, what is it that you want to do? Let's say, I feel like anybody can do it. You just have to, like... like you know like, what like, I think you would be good at? A realtor. I, I already did that. You already tried that? Well, I already, I already did the whole real estate thing. No. Yeah, I was successful, but... No, I'm talking I about, like, just showing that. houses, selling houses. Yeah, but like no, I'm it. not talking about... That's still a job, anyways. Um, I want to, like, one day just say, man, fuck that. Quit job. And, and just kind of like say fuck it, I'm gonna start. But doing it's hard, bro. Business. It's hard to just say. It's hard, it. but it's easy. But what if you just start taking step towards that goal rather than just saying f it, drop, drop. No, I know, you, I you know. Kids, yeah, you you're, you're definitely. Yourself. I definitely have to start somewhere and then build up and then yeah. enough to where you you're gonna like, fuck. I don't need yeah. to work anymore. Because if you think about it, like um, you you want to be successful at something that you start or you do, <clears> but you don't want to put your morals aside. And I think where Daniel. He was successful at how he said real t- realtor, and he was even like selling cars at once. But he had to put his morals aside and kind of fuck people over to be able to like, yeah, it's a bad business. You though. know, get ahead in a way. Oh yeah, you know, yeah. That's what I'm saying. So, like so selling, uh, yeah, selling cars. No, no, just the realtor too. Yeah. Sign here with a realtor, being a realtor interest. too. You know, some, oh, sometimes yeah. the way the, the way he was doing it was different than what you think. Uh-huh. But what I'm saying is like it wasn't bad or illegal. But I'm saying the way he had to do it. Was um, not what he wanted. Oh, okay. that's why. That's when what he's saying. When it comes to real estate, you know? when it comes to selling and well, see that, sales in, per, in, in, in general, you have to have no hard to do that. No, job. yes, bro, but I, but if you they hire well, somebody you, to do it, but what if? Yeah, that's how you become that real estate agent to go to though, because instead that's, of make instead of nice. screwing somebody over and making a big profit, you you help people out and you help out a lot more people. Yeah. yeah. So what's one? What's like off the top of your head, what's the business right now that you want to start? I, I want to go back to real estate. All right. <laughs> but I want to oh. do it differently. I want to do the more of the you know what? build. I want to construct, build houses, put them for rent. No, build okay. houses, put them for rent. Build well, houses. Screw, hey, screw, for rent. No, no, build for to sell. <laughs> no. Build the, no, no, build no, 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 no. You no, never no, want to no, sell. No, never no. sell your assets. Renting. So, so um, I've, I've been, we've been hanging out with uh, like my wife's brother. He started real estate because he was hanging out with a friend. Or a family member that uh, he's yeah, the he, broker. He has multiple houses that are that being rented. Like, like super broker or what? No, no, brokers like brokers the, the, if you the go one that to, if you want to buy a house, you have to go to a broker and he has to. Yeah. And man, I heard that brokers are has the worst Bre- jobs in the break world. Break bread, so no. This is the hardest job in the world. Right? But they get paid off oh, of you all the money, real estate dude. agents that are under them. A real estate agent can't just start selling houses. So they have to go like through this. a brokerage. <laughs> You, if you was to say fifty thousand dollars, <laughs> that's enough for to get like a loan of like, like two hundred fifty thousand dollars, for example, right? Twenty thousand, fifty thousand enough to, for to a down payment to get a loan for two hundred fifty thousand. For two hundred fifty thousand, you can build a house, and, and put it for rent for like two thousand two hundred dollars, for example, right? Yeah. Your mortgage, and then your mortgage is for that loan is going to be let's say a thousand dollars, for example. That's how much profit you have, and then you just refinance that house, get the equity out of it. And then now you're back to 250 and then plus that profit. And then you do it again, you do it again, yeah. you do it again, you do it again. But it's all rental properties. It's all rental properties. And then one day when the price goes up another 100%, like it just went up. It went up 50% in the last two years, bro. Yeah. When I bought my house, I bought it for like 200 and I was worth 300. Like, hey, so you bought your house at what? The, the, 200 and I was yeah, worth like, 300. The market's not going to go back to how it was. So, right? It's you not going to go know. down, but it's not going to go more up. It'll probably it's go a little bit go. up, but it's just going to go up slower. Man. Then just, just think about it like how you got a new job. Now you're getting paid more. Shit, it's all about inflation, bro. Yeah. So yeah. everything's going to go back key, to I'm like, It's not even like I'm winning more. I'm just balancing out now. This is the more you make, not the more you spend, bro. bro. Yeah. It's all not at all. You haven't gotten that check yet. Have I you? No, that check has that not check hit. Not had, has not, not hit. Him bro. Every first hey, bro, this might be my last podcast. I was like, as soon as that check <laughs> hit, I ain't talking to y'all, bro. You know what I'm saying? Hey, you catch me at yeah. Stake 48. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you see me battling that whip. That's how you're going to balance it out. <laughs> <laughs> hey, paying $40 for somebody to park my car. Yeah. Anyways, are aliens real? 
Mm-hmm. Hey, Lalo, what's one thing in life that you want, bro? <sighs> Fuck you, don't put me on spot. Boom, off the dome, bro. What do you want right now that you just can't get? You, you, I think you, the the thing that we always bring up, like my dad. Yeah, dude. You're gonna retire your dad. Retire my dad and just li- live to where none of my family has to worry about. Oh, absolutely. Friends yeah. too, obviously, right? Like everybody that I care for, always, I'm, I'm always gonna keep them around. So I think, I think that's a, <laughs> all right. So what's one thing <laughs> that you uh, want? Yeah, for everybody that I care but, for. But all right. So yeah, what about one thing you want that's selfish as hell, bro? Like you're yeah, selfish for doing this. Oh, selfish. Yeah, not that selfish. I think. Yeah, you hey, have to have thought viewers, about it to the point where for the viewers, thinking. I think Eduardo's one of the like for for me, bro. You're one of the least selfish people that I know, bro. Like not uh, even to say that. Yeah. I think I think Lalo like, least I selfish. selfish. Yeah, I think you want to start a barbershop, right? You want to cut hair? Oh yeah, that, that's true. Like a chain. So, so the thing is, like, I, I have a whole family full of barbers, right? Yeah. Twelve yeah, verse three and four. Yeah, bro, you're gonna just you're gonna ruin your family. Three and four and five. <laughs> Are you gonna run them out of business because you're just gonna be popping? <laughs> the thing is, like, I feel like there's a there's a need for going to a place where it's not just cutting your hair, right? Like, you go to a place where it's more more, more of a, an escape, like more of a hangout spot. Like you go to oh, a, I thought you meant like some like happy endings and stuff. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> Bro, I've always hey, you know, thought about hey, that. Shit, we can include that in there. How bad would it be if you was to go if you was to go to a, a barbershop, right? And half of the barbershop is a bar, half of it is a is a barbershop, and then and the outside you get your car wash. So you can go get your car wash, you can go get a drink while you wait, hood, bro. and then you go cut your hair. I ain't get chicken wings. Those barbers drinking it up again. Edge up all over here. Hey, yeah. I think no, no, I don't no, think that I don't think that not the worker. Not the worker. Uh, okay, okay. And you're getting your car wash. You're gonna you're, you're going on a date. That's why you're cutting your hair. You know. What if you barely got your drink and you're about to get your hair cut? You drink it while you're cutting your hair. Yeah. So fine. so this yeah, is a cave. You just. Put it so this. So straw. I brought up the the whole barbershop thing, but I remember at, um, I don't know when it was a long time ago. Time I thought about it. maybe, it would be fucking crazy if you can go to a place where, young people that don't want to go through the whole. Like uh, going to school and spend all this money to go and get a degree and all this shit, they can go to a place like how like a like a big building or a big warehouse or something like that, where you go in there and you can either stream, make record well, podcasts, like in LA, bro. Just, yeah, that's they what that's what I want. Podcast rooms with full equipment or yeah. gaming setups. But 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 think about a place where, like right now, like we, we're starting a podcast, right? And we're we're um. We're relying on each other to, to to make this happen, but imagine going to a place where there's hundreds of people that are thinking the same way you are. Yeah, and you and just you collab, collab, and and doing so all this. It's like shit. a haberdashery where back in the days people that were traveling they'll stop when a when a storm comes and then they'll have to be there and just kind of wait out the storm. Mm-hmm. While you're there, there's snacks and this and that. Be yeah, not give it right. Yeah. <laughs> No, uh, I, you're I, saying, I, you want to build honestly, a warehouse honestly, where people. Bro, this is the first time you made so much sense because it's true, man. Yeah. Like you go to a it place where sense. <laughs> 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 you, you go into a place where where you don't necessarily have to interact with people, but there the the options there. Yeah, like, like you're, you're, you're gonna get like divided into like gaming groups. Yeah, or gaming groups. People, people that, that do politics, podcasts, politics, religion, politics or, everything. Or, you know, it's whatever. a place to go hang out. I mean, right? Mm-hmm. That'd be yeah. pretty cool. Yeah. But okay, so right now you, you didn't you didn't mention that something that's real selfless, like or selfish. It's crazy, bro. That yeah, shit. I don't know, man. That's true. I don't know. That's because he's he's so unself. Like he's. What did I say? Uh, you want to go to real estate and start your own business and stuff like that? You don't want uh, another car. You don't want a V8, bro? He got a he got a V6 Challenger, bro. And he cut out the exhaust <laughs> to make it sound like a V8. <laughs> he put a baseball card on the hey, tire. Cut, cut. Because <laughs> that boy Jure told me, dog. <laughs> he took me to the place and everything. you got your exhaust put in? Your yeah, man. One? Oh, my God. At, fir- no, at first, no, it sounded no, no. good, bro. It sounded good. He's then, the one that I chose. Like, <laughs> hey, I'm a, I need it louder. I said, I said, fuck it. I need it louder. And I took off the... Resonators. The resonators. <laughs> them off, oh, them Lord. That motherfucker sounded like a damn uh, little <laughs> go-kart, bro. Little go-kart. Like a go-kart in the, in the middle of the, the tire of a bike. <laughs> All right, Ivan, what, hey, is, hey, what is your selfish but, uh, thing but, that you want for yourself? As a 22-year-old, you, you can before, have more things. Before, yeah. before, before you start. My, my bad, my uh, show was boring, though. <laughs> with with your loud exhaust <laughs> racing down <laughs> long drive <laughs> oh, yeah mustang bro mustang. racing the mustang on mustang long pull, drive mustang pulled up next to me bro 
Hey, and it's fun. <laughs> this is the only way, the only reason why I won. Because the guy was next to me and I was like honking. Like, let's go, let's go, let's go. And the whole time I was like, nah, nah I'm good, I'm good. In my head, I was like, there's no way I'm going to do this. Like, obviously, he's going to beat me. It's a GT. It yeah, no, no, it's a V6, so it's like there's no way I'm gonna no, beat him, right? But <laughs> I say fuck it, and you know what? The reason why I won is because if you've been a long drive, there's that one, the there's that one, one, the one, there's that one lane that's the left one, there's bumpy as fuck. You talking about by the ass. park? Yes. yes. Oh my yes. god, <laughs> bro! It's like uh, the movie Fast and Furious, they have to go over the bridge. Yeah, and then they just crash. Yeah. Well, so imagine, bro. imagine if th this is the road. <laughs> <laughs> this is long time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, that's the only, awful, that's the only reason why I, I drove. How many I, mean, times I won, bro. Yeah, no, he went like that, like how you said. Yeah. But then the first little in thing oh, where he, 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 yeah, he went a U turn and he left. I guess he was embarrassed. Yeah. Oh. Cause he, he probably lost the tire, bro. I'm surprised he didn't crash into you, dude. Oh, how many times I fucking? I ain't got nothing on my butt. I freaking long drive. What's the name of the movie? Fast and Furious. 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 Fast I would put after, let's say I'm, I'm already a millionaire. I already made it, whatever, right? Me, my personality, I like to be alone every single day, every whatever, Me too. anything, right? I like, to, uh, that's just how I am. I like yeah. to relax, What's watch the word movies. For that? Hmm? Uh, it's called introvert. Introvert. Yeah, yeah I'm a, oh, I'm an like introvert. Yeah, definition. But I mean, it, it's, it's weird because whenever I go out with friends, uh, it, I'm still an introvert. But I, go I to kinda, episode two, and he says he's an introvert, but he was over here getting bottle service and whatnot. <laughs> hey, with no. signs that say <laughs> Ivan. Real. <laughs> whenever I go out, I, I, I still have that side. You can still see that side when I'm kind of shy, kind of yeah. quiet. For sure. But you can also, I kind of, I try to bring that that side of me where I kind of like. Cause I like to have fun. I like to, oh, for sure. you know, Make I like memories. to dance and I like well, to do But you have to have like stuff. a best friend with you, right? Not yeah, like yeah, just yeah. Well, you're gonna yeah. Have, we're gonna have yeah. to do like a breakdown segment. Yeah. Like <laughs> I mean, break dance segment. No, so. yeah. So, so pretty much being super selfish after I made it and everything is, is pretty much just buying myself a nice home where I feel comfortable, I feel home, dark walls, everything, you know, not that depressing type of stuff. Coffee? But, Hmm? Coughing in the mouth. No, no, no. no. <laughs> I'm saying like uh, like those modernized because I like modernized. I like I like modern houses. Like Twilight, like the house in Twilight. Pretty much something like that, but like kind of low where you have like the sofas kind of dig down and stuff. Whatever. Yeah, pretty much what I'm just saying is somewhere where I can pretty much just relax by myself, where I can be yeah. able to go outside, feel the breeze, and actually be like, damn, I made it. Yeah. You know, okay. where I'm not so like. So you want a house? A house and and, and I can be able to yeah yeah pretty much in the woods yeah, something like that yeah. where I can feel like like I made it Big I don't windows. have to be in the yeah. LA life where you know yeah, you're okay. partying and you know you don't, it don't, it don't it's not a status symbol for you it's just more of a it's where you're comfortable oh, yeah, yeah. yeah that's, that's kind of what I want to it's just my forever house like right now I know for a fact there's anything I don't want to be in but yeah. I want a house that I know that's gonna be the house same that I'm here forever. same. I don't think the first house you get into is a forever home. Nah, this is my second house, and I want to back. I want to back it with a basketball I don't even court. think your second yeah. house is your forever home. Yeah, the same. Well, I think you, you just uh, you just learn like what you really want. Well, you, and you're learning your, how to yeah. budget yourself too. No, of course. Nobody, as you know, as your first the first time buyer, you're not you're like you don't know how to pay a big ass mortgage. Of course yeah. not. Hey, so if you pull up to El Borrego or your favorite taqueria, bro, what's your order, bro? Borrego, food. every time I go, bro, I get a quesadilla with a, with a cebolla on the side. Yeah. Cebolla on the side? With a whole cebolla. Like asada. Ask for a whole cebolla. Cebolla asada, asada right? right? Or cruda. Hey, I heard somebody you don't like there. Oh, I think so, actually. Yeah, like, like, a year, like, uh, like within, the, within this past year. Yeah. Why though? Because they didn't get the order right or something? Yeah, yeah they forgot the beans. They put avocado at their fucking. You can't fuck up, bro. Yeah, bro. They got shot or something. Yeah, I heard somebody got killed. Yeah. I think mine's got to be tripas. How many tacos or tripas you get? None, bro. I'm just playing. El taco don't get that shit. Ahorita. You don't need that? <laughs> I don't know, bro. Ah. You eat that shit. I know you eat that shit, bro, course, but I don't eat that bro. shit. You don't like tripitas? Come no. on. Okay. You know what? It's not that I don't like it. I swear to God, I've never had them. <laughs> All right, but for real, what's your order? For me, it has to be... We talking about Borrego or just anywhere? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Borrego or your favorite taqueria? As for, it has to be... Tres tacos de... Uh, pastor, 
Yeah. Con queso fresco, aguacate y cebolla. But he don't need the tortilla. Yeah, but those aren't even like street tacos though, no? Like, I, don't, I don't need the tortilla though. I never do. Wow. Hey, what do you eat it? Like keto style? Or what? Yeah, yeah, keto style. Like always. Like, always, bro. Eating, really? Like, when is the last time I ate a tortilla? I don't remember, bro. Uh, why though? I don't know. I never do. He's trying to he's watch his face. Been to Amazon, You're bro. trying to watch it, your it, figure. It mentally was because I wanted to lose weight, but... Oh, okay. Just just but, but I just never did it. Ever after, after that. Yeah. I mean, after that. Hey, Where do you go? Huh? I don't know. I even that simple. <laughs> Be steak. Chiquitina. And that's it. I said chiquitina. Make it. Make nuggets. <laughs> <laughs> nah. hey, we gotta for Ivan. We gotta stop at McDonald's. Then go to the Dunkin'. Yeah, you get a four piece and small fry. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I, I'm really picky with my food. That I have like the worst palate. I guess you could say. But yeah. I always just eat plain fajita. Uh, fajita, pretty much fajita. Yeah. Or it will be, um, pollo. Uh, yeah. Wait, hold on. Let's go back. Hold on. A borrego quesadilla, but any other place I get like enchiladas verdes or mm. or or. That's like a um, sit down place, no? Yeah, what are you talking about? Talk about like, taco, taco, you know, taco truck. truck. Oh, I'll go back to Cosadia then. Go ahead. Oh, okay. Hey, but I remember one time whenever... He, dude, this guy this guy <coughs> has no sense of having a good palate or whatever. Let's try something new. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Whatever you want to call it. This is one time I remember. Remember, we were, <laughs> we're at my friend's house. The, I think this might have been the first time where he tried actually like cebolla. And he was... And I was just like, bro, what? just fuck it. Just taste it, bro. It's good. Oh, 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 to clarify, it wasn't the first time. I already knew that I didn't like it. Yeah, but he was like, fuck it. Let me just... Tr- let me see if I grew enough to like it. Yeah, because it, yeah. it was a salsa. So in the salsa, they had little oh, pieces of cebolla. So I was like, yeah, fuck it. Let me, let me, let me yeah. dip that chip in. Get a lot of it. Because you told yeah. me. Get yeah. a lot of it, bro. It tastes really good. Yeah, he almost threw. <laughs> no <laughs> way. Was, fuck, no. I was almost we throwing up. We took him to go eat sushi. Yes, yeah. bro. He was like... I just don't like that, bro. bro. I, I, have yet, sushi, bro. Like, I have yet to find something that I discuss. Everything that I eat, I like. Pero you know estamos, hey, pero estamos gorditos. Yeah. yeah, that's true. Mm-hmm. Try dick. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> I like that too, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I'm really have you, Hey, yeah. would, you, would you try uh, testicles, bull testicles? Yeah, bro. The only I reason why I bring wait, it up. On. What about insects? How would you eat them though? Like, the only eat? reason why I would bring it up is uh, as a kid, I was watching Fear Factor. Yeah, Fear Factor. Yeah, I remember that episode. <laughs> and, and they they had that, and my grandma was there watching it with me, and she didn't understand English. Yeah. But she saw it in a plate. Yeah. That was like one of the Fear Factor things they had to do. And she's like, oh, what is that? But I was embarrassed because I was like, oh, man, bull testicles? What do I tell her? Yeah. Pelotas, it's Porno. like you know, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, Wales? Oh, I don't know, I don't know, grandma. Like, no, yeah. sir. And then she's like, Oh, I know what those are, those are bull testicles. And yeah. it's like, uh, She's like, I had those before, what? Yeah, because yeah. I mean, they bro. ate the whole cow. Yeah. If you had bull. tripas before, you can eat anything, bro. Nah, bro, tripas are bro, they no, hey, are tripas coming down below. Now, nah, but think about it what if some testicles were like seasoned pretty good, cooked pretty good? They might be, they might oh, be honestly, hitting, bro. Yeah. Bro, barbacoa, bro, que son los... Barbacoa, like, the real barbacoa is everything in the head, bro. Yeah, like lengua the eyes, and everything. the brain, the lengua? cheeks, the lengua. So, yeah. so... Oh, lengua's a gro- yeah, when you go growing, for it, you ask yeah, them, no, they bro. tell you, what do you want? Growing, you growing up, that was, like, a big thing. If my, my family would come from Dallas, from everywhere, the, and they would come on in the mornings, Mind you, this is, this a is whole like box, 45 bro. people, bro. A whole box. And, like, it was a huge box. And it was the whole... <laughs> The whole <laughs> skull. Yeah. The whole skull. And they were literally picking at it. Damn, for like their top yeah. Yes. Damn. When I used to go to Mexico yeah, by myself, right my grandma in the kitchen, she used to have a whole okay. fucking cabeza. Oh, yeah. yeah. I think so I think uh, uh, eyes that's I won't eat that. Yeah? The eye. Yeah, we can I never eat I don't think I would eat that. <laughs> what do you what do you order in a taqueria? Pastor. Nice. How many? Yeah. The, the, what is it called? Pirata? <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. It's like hey, a quesadilla, bro, no? That, that, that's yeah. so fucking good, bro. Have you a ever been to, to, yes. Have you ever been uh, to? I know what you're talking about. To, uh, <laughs> El jalapeño. <laughs> Have you ever been to Taco Tech? <laughs> Oh, yeah. No, Taco Tech. Yeah. Well, Taco Tech, hell no, bro. Taco Tech, I spent $20, bro. On like frijoles. three tacos. Hype. Because you got them charros. Bro, bro. they told me, ¿quieres frijoles? And they were like, let's get hey, bro, frijoles. Hey, bro, all those are free, bro. Yeah, he thought, he thought the, Piss like, me off, bro. They give you free I thought the frijoles were free, bro. The most, 
the frijoles are more expensive than the food, bro. Oh. No. They said los que he preparado, so I was like, sí, está bien. Bro, it was the beans for six dollars. Because well, they had yeah, like a, they had a bunch of carne, yeah. be a uh, Yeah, taco de agria, fuck you. Yeah, you good. <laughs> I was gonna say coming up, but I'm like, fuck you. But $20, bro? No, 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 fuck the price. The I food, the first time I ever been there was after 15, right? I went with my whole, because I used to be in a dance crew when I'm 15. Yeah. And I used to be with them, pretty cool team. <laughs> but uh, we went, <laughs> we went after, and that was the first time I ever tried there. We got a pirata. The salsa there that they have, yeah, super it's bomb, spicy yeah. and it's super good. But after that, that the that's next it. day, yo, go ahead. Go ahead. Saliendo lo, saliendo, you saliendo go to the restaurant for like an hour. You know what I mean? Hey, but, but what does pirata mean? Because in Mexico, we used to get papas a la pirata, which basically means meat and cheese. Meat and cheese, right? Yeah. That's what pirata means. Mm, yeah. yeah, okay. Yeah. All right. Hey, I ain't gonna lie. I'm <laughs> tearing up I'm about a down. dozen of tripita. <laughs> Nah, I mean, hey, would I eat, would I eat insects though? Like fried insects? <laughs> I wouldn't, but I would like if I was like in in, in the DF or something. Like, like in Ch- deep in China, little insects or something. Chapulines. So oh, uh, I, crickets. I, I, yeah, yeah, I tried it. I tried it because uh, we were at uh, in Mexico City, yeah. and they bring you the sope and it's avocado and a bunch of them. Crickets. It, yeah. Are they salted? Yeah. Yeah, they use them. They're as, fried. Like, I see somebody even ground them and yeah. then they like use it as like to salt your margarita or something. Yeah. Bro? So like, well, the restaurant here in Houston, because I'm not Sochi, it's like a high end uh, fancy Mexican restaurant. The margaritas, they use that. Like sal de hormiga or sal de. de uh, dude, at the end of the day, bro, if you season something good or you put like salt in some shit, yeah. Yeah. it won't taste good. Bro. So uh, th- they were fried yeah. and salty. Tastes like beef. Mm-hmm. But the texture is the only thing that I couldn't get over. Like you get stuck in your throat, no? The, like it's scratchy. The little legs will stab your gums. Hey, you know what I imagine it being like, like, like just crunching on sunflower seeds. Like in t- I see that. Have I you, mean, uh, isn't there a place where they eat roaches? Oh like, hell sure. no! Yeah, like, I, eat I would not. Imagine, that, mm. imagine you're about to eat it and it's oh. just. Wee, wee, wee. <laughs> what have you I'm been to a taco bro? And it bro, was just like that's oh, that has to be the biggest fear that I have in life. A fucking flying roach, bro. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if I said it one time, but, but when Hurricane Harvey happened, my whole house got flooded, verdad? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I remember it was me and my yeah, girl, I'm my like- daughter. We were, we were in a room. <laughs> we were in a room, right? And then my daughter was sleep. We're all sleeping, and a roach falls on my daughter's hair, mm-hmm. and I grab her legs and I pull her, like try to like help her. Yeah. yeah. And then the the roach goes under the bed, and none of us went to sleep that night. Bro, you know what I'm imagining? Like no. when you say this story. I imagine like your house is flooded, right? With like a foot of water and y'all are all like on top of the bed. And then you see like a roach on your daughter's head and you just push her off the bed <laughs> into the water. <laughs> nah. Nah, I, I feel like that, that situation, you can't sleep, bro. I did, we none of us slept. A roach, whatever uh, it is. Nah, spider, I, spider I don't really care. And I never really? found it again. Like spider is, doesn't doesn't I mean, I, I creep me say, out as much as a yeah. roach. No, because, because a spider will mind their own business. A roach will just try to like get in your nose, get in yeah, somewhere. Maybe. Really? Because, because I, I, I don't know, but I'm just saying like is, you just unlock the bigger crawl, fear. They'll, they'll crawl in your mouth, bro. No, yeah, yeah. yeah. That happened to my cousin. That's what I read oh. about spiders. It, supposedly, a human eats. I guess I guess you just don't see spiders. Oh, that it's like day, a statistic bro. where you eat, roach. like yeah. in your bugs. lifetime you eat all bugs. these bugs without wanting yeah, to. That's what I'm saying. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Say something about spiders. Yeah. That's why whenever I see a spider and I lose it, I can't sleep. You probably ate I it already. Like, you spider. don't even know it. <laughs> <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah, I no, nah, spider, I'll be all right. But, you, but it's bad when you're scared of butterfly, bro. If a butterfly comes at me, bro, I'm going crazy, bro. Oh, no, hold on, hold on. A butterfly? A butterfly. I go a crazy. Butterfly? I think you're the only one, bro. You better nah. never go to, uh, <laughs> what is it? Yeah, the monarchas. Yeah. That's um, like a great hey, La Monarca, though. No, 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 no. If I go to like a specific zoo, never been whatever, there. The ice cream place. Uh, you're, you're like, whatever, right? But like in the wild, been this, there, actually. it is good. Wild. Behind the AMC it 30. <laughs> it is. Something creepy crawling in Bro, I used to go into the damn. Uh, the dome? Uh, no, the, yeah, the dome. I used yeah. to be like this. That's like I said, I've been uh, there and gardens, I, I do that. But uh, gardens, wild right? ones now. Embrace them, you know what I mean? Uh, my, my biggest fear is like snakes, bro. Like, I hate snakes. You seen Riddick? Yeah. The first one? I, yeah. I, I never seen the Vin Diesel one? Yeah. Diesel. yeah. What about it? No, I'm just saying. <laughs> Where, what has been the highlight of this podcast? Nah, nothing. We've just been rambling <laughs> on, but screw it. <laughs> so, you know, whenever I was in high school, it was real. Something that I look back into. <laughs> <laughs> well, I took a hot dump. 
something that I look back at is is whenever I used to be in high school, I used to hang out with a group of friends, right? That was like last year, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much like two, th- three years ago, whatever, 2017. I used to I used to always hang out with a group of friends, and yeah. that group of friends had a lot of you know more friends, and we used yeah, to yeah, always sure. whatever, whatever. Every time we used to we used to have a little thing. Whenever it was our lunchtime, we used to walk around the, the whole campus, like inside yeah. though. We used to just walk around. We used to be like, we used to, we used to look at girls and be like, hey, and they look away. Uh, and whoever's yeah. looking at her, they would look at him. It would be like the Ooh. awkwardest shit, whatever, right? It was, our, it was like the, the thing, whatever. We used to create little circles, like in the middle of the hallway. So people had to walk around us and stuff. It was, it was just stupid shit, whatever. But whenever we used to walk around the whole campus inside, I used to see people eating lunch by themselves, bro. Mm-hmm. And I used to, like, now that I think about, like I, I really wish people. I could have been able to be like, yeah. you know, <laughs> is take, their, take their lunch. Hey, was it? <laughs> <laughs> bro, it bro. Was too? Yeah, you brought back like, memories. Hey, hold on. Was that in high school? Yeah. I was one of those guys, bro. Really? You who, was, who remembers? You see, yeah, he was over here depressed. But oh, he was, I was, I was like going in, the, see, in the, the, the restroom and shit. You see? Because like I said, that, everybody in my high school, bro, in the no, restroom? none of my friends came to Chavez. <laughs> I don't think about 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 was thing in high school. I didn't bro, lunch, and then no. lunch. do y'all remember yeah, Slap Ass Friday? No, bro, no. middle school. That's, that's Jesus, that's isn't that one. such a like, if you think about it, like, dude, if I have a daughter and that's still going on, like, God help, help. This has been the end of No Seria Podcast, episode five. We appreciate you coming in, tuning in, listening to our dumb selves talk for an hour and a half yeah. or so. Comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. We ain't nothing now, but just wait, baby. We're going to make it. Yes, sir. And if you like this video, when we make it, <laughs> we're going to give you a little check. And, it, hey, and it's going to have four <laughs> digits minimum. Yes, sir. Who are you giving a check to? No, to everybody that likes the video whenever we make it. Okay, but we, de- we define when we make it, so hey. Because yeah. you're known for being the person that helps you out. Shout Instead out of to, making uh, big profits in one, you make you know, slugs. You know what I'm talking about? Just no free plug. I think it has the, 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 like, the take number, the clip. Yeah. Just, 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 can't do it go for it <laughs> what's going on guys are... welcome back to la platica podcast i am your guest lee ray aka lee reezy aka that's it yes sir that's not the name of the podcast <laughs> i don't know oh my god bro, bro. we listening to the platica podcast <laughs> that's <laughs> why god. you gotta cut that <laughs> like, that i swear to god bro i think you're just joking <laughs> no i was listening to a podcast at work all day today and it's la, la platica podcast okay. So I come from a company or a job where, you know, it's a, it's a job where you, you got to just, it's a good place to start and you learn a lot, but it's a beginning. What, bro? <laughs> Let me well, take, bro. <laughs> but dude, it's all right. So like this place, you know, it's like where people, you know, they win the, all right. <laughs> yeah, can I get the dog? <laughs> no, it's because dude, I almost dropped my whole drink, bro. <laughs> God damn it, Lalo. I'm good, I'm good. I swear to God, I'm good. All right. The majority of the people that are starting, <laughs> <laughs> and you know, and they, well, they're winning an average more for cellular. I'm able to live. God, bro, I can't. We can't. Lalo, what happened? Cool story. <laughs> I mean, we can keep all this shit. Fuck it, bro. Yeah, okay. Hey, huh? bloopers. Oh, hey, yeah, bloopers, bloopers yeah, after yeah. the curtain. Yeah.